I woke up on Saturday to a sunnier day in Phoenix for the first day of the CHA Creativation Show. Saturday was the first day the trade show floor was actually open, so there was a ton of excitement all over the convention center. A few of my friends were official influencers for Creativation, and I am so glad the CHA is recognizing the importance of online influencers in the craft world. In addition to walking the floor of the show, Saturday was the day I got to work in the Prime Publishing booth doing a quick tassel make and take craft. Many of the vendors at CHA offer make and takes with their products, and I think this Game of Thrones theme resin pendant project was my favorite. I spent the rest of the afternoon walking the show floor, speaking with brands, and just generally being inspired by a huge convention center full of craft supplies. There were a few trends that jumped out at me from the show, so I wanted to share those with you. Quite a few brands were capitalizing on vintage nostalgia in crafts, whether it's a paint that makes the project look vintage, or an actual craft project that was popular 20, 30, 40 years ago. Mandalas are showing up in different mediums too, whether it's coloring books or stamps or metal jewelry making. Fairy gardens were really big too. Both the Reese and Plaid had big displays featuring their fairy garden related products, so expect to see more of that this year. Finally, there seemed to be a big push to capitalize on the popularity of letterboards. Both Heidi Swap and DCWB had letter boards that had a ton of fun accessories like script font letters instead of regular fonts. They had holiday embellishments and lots of fun things that you can add on to your standard letter board. Let me know in the comments which of these trends you're most excited for this year.